Hello, and thanks for joining Eso Alimenta's very first vlog. My name is Bee, and I'll be your host. Eso Alimenta is a plant-based company that's focused on providing both healthful and tasty dishes, often inspired by traditional meals. Instead of actually sharing a recipe with you today, I thought it might be a better idea to share with you my recent experience at Vegandale's festival, which was held at Randall's Island in New York City. I had a great time stuffing my face with some plant-based treats, and I hope you have a great time watching it. So sit back and relax and enjoy the clip. Vegandale's located in Toronto, Canada, and is a mecca for the ethically minded with the best of vegan food, goods, and services. Their location is a premier destination for the vegan and vegan curious. Vegandale hosts festivals annually in four major cities across the U.S., which includes Miami, Houston, Chicago, and of course, New York City. This year, I decided to attend the fest at Randall's Island so that I too could experience some plant-based dishes and the culture that is veganism. First stop was Bourbon and Wolf's because I wanted to understand why everyone was buzzing around this tiny stand, waiting for their order of the infamous deep fried seitan wings. Bourbon and Wolf is located in Albany, New York and claims to be the capital region's first and only vegan deli. They've been serving customers since their grand opening back in 2016 and pride themselves on creativity quality, and ethical consumption. My husband was up to taste these infamous wings, and yes, they were definitely a hit with Nicholas. I tried them as well and can honestly say this place knows how to cook seitan. Our next stop was a much anticipated vendor, the Mexiboys. Located in New Jersey, the Mexiboys surely knows how to throw down in the kitchen, cooking up some serious traditional Mexican food. I was intrigued by their tamales and decided to order one of these tasty little treats just for myself. The tamal was wrapped in traditional corn husk and the masa, which is a dough that contains a corn base, invoked my childhood memories of my godmother's homemade tamales. These tamales were filled with jackfruit, chickpeas, peppers, and a whole lot of love. It was definitely delicious. Next stop was, you guessed it, Next Stop Vegan. Nicholas was curious to try the patacon dish made by this vegan Dominican restaurant located in the Bronx. The patacon consists of a medley of quinoa, tomatoes, cabbage, onions, and Caribbean-inspired sauces and spices, all held together by two gargantuan fried plantains. Now this was a sandwich that was more than a mouthful. Next Vegan offers meal planning as well as catering as mentioned here by the lovely Melissa. We were very appreciative of our time and samples of pink lemonade cupcakes. While Nicholas stuffed his face with a patacon, I was off to full waffles by Kulashkat. That's right, full waffle is a falafel waffle. And in case you're wondering, Kulashkat means shut up and eat. And once I had my order, that's exactly what I did. The falafel concept is pretty interesting, given it's a savory way to have waffles with chickpeas. The waffle itself could use some fine tuning as it leaves an odd aftertaste, but overall a creative and filling dish. At this point, we were in dire need of something to drink. So we headed over to the good juice bar for some ginger punch and it went down so cool and fast, I didn't even have a chance to really enjoy it. Well, I hope you enjoyed watching my Vegan Dale experience and do encourage you to attend one of these fests, whether you're vegan or not, because as you can see, we enjoyed ourselves and look forward to attending next year. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to enjoy our simple plant-based recipes here at Eso Alimenta.